Hi there. I, uh, I hope that this is an encouraging word for you today. I've entitled this devotional, Hope and Humility. You know, the Bible says that God humbles or actually opposes the proud. He says it in James 4, 6. Have you ever been humbled? Um, I hope you can say yes to that. <laughs> can you think of a time that maybe your pride had been stripped away? Maybe it was a failed business, a, a dream that never plan- panned out, a mistake you made, or maybe it's just a sin that you struggled with. Whatever it is, we all will get humbled in this life. We have all had moments when we realize that we are not the smartest person in the room. We realize that we don't know the future and that we can't read minds. And then we slowly start to realize that the, the control that we thought we had or wish we had was all but a fantasy. And it is in these moments that we begin to lose hope. But when we hold on to what we can control, and try to will ourselves to get better, we slowly start to begin to spiral out of control. We find ourselves failing over and over again, or or we push harder into the pit of self-reliance that always returns void. See, hope and humility go hand in hand. We have hope because we realize that we are not God. We have hope as our confidence begins to transfer from our abilities to the one who always shows up. Our future plans and dreams become an adventure lived with a good, good father. Hope is now rooted in Christ and in his promises for us. Philippians 2 says this, In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. And when we live in humility, we have hope. And this hope causes us to rejoice. It causes us to share with one another. And I hope for you that you find your hope in Christ. God bless you. 